I'm here with Elizabeth Warren. Of course, she set up the agency. I'd like to start off. On the day you were nominated, one of your first calls was the Vikram Pandit, the start of a charm offensive with the big banks, and yet they never really warmed to you. But do the big banks, do they miss their fire? Do they train it all on Elizabeth Warren, the Harvard law professor, while all along you were setting up this agency, getting it up and running? Do they have more to fear from you or from the agency? You know, I don't want to think about this as fear. I'll say to you exactly what I said to every one of the big CEOs. If you build your business model around making your prices clear, making your risks clear, mowing down the fine print so people can really do head-to-head -head comparisons, three or four credit cards, three or four mortgages, we're going to be fine. But if you're going to build a business model or continue to live with a business model that's built around tricking and trapping people, we're going to have trouble. And that's true whether I'm standing up the agency or Rich Cordry is its director. Nothing changes about that. This is obviously something that you worked on a long time. Mm -hmm. Did you want to lead it? You know, I am so tickled to be here today. I, we just really have to spend a second on this. Two years ago, this was like just a little tiny idea. And the president fought for it. I fought for it. Grassroots groups around the country voted for it, I, I fought for it. We got a head-to-head -head vote on a strong agency a year ago, right about now. I've now spent a year bringing in terrific people, uh, putting this thing, turning it into a reality. It's really been amazing. And now it's time for the next chapter for this agency. This week, we get a whole bunch more of our tools and get it up and running. It's good to watch someone else take it over and fly it on out of here. Yes, no. Did you want to lead it? You know, what I wanted to do is see it up and running, and I'm happy about that. I genuinely am. You said the president fought for this. Did mm -hmm. he fight enough for you to potentially head it? Oh, I want to be clear. If we didn't have the president, Barack Obama, sitting in that White House behind me here, we wouldn't have this agency. He fought for it to make it happen, and he fought for it at a level that really matters to me. There were a lot of grand bargains offered. They never hit the press. You know, if only you'll rip off one of its arms, if only you'll make it weak and shackle it, we'd be glad to let you have something called a Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. You know what he said every time? No. I'm happy with that. But did the president himself fight enough for you, Elizabeth Warren, the author of this idea, for you to head the agency? Wrong way to frame it. Did he fight for the agency? And did he try to make a decision that's best for the agency? That's what I want. That's what the president wants. No, no daylight on this one. So will Cordray be confirmed? I sure hope so, because i, I got to tell you, come on. He's the former Ohio Attorney General. He recovered $2 billion for pensioners in Ohio. He was the first AG on the front lines in the mortgage servicing scandal. He's a former state treasurer. There's nothing to object here to unless you really believe we ought to stick with the failed regulatory policies we had. Would you vote for him if you're in the United States Senate? Boy, you bet. I would not only vote for him, um, uh, I would speak on his behalf and wear a rich cordry for head of the CFPB button. Does that mean you're a candidate? <laughs> Clever way to do it, but i got to tell you, I've now spent 14 hours a day for over a year working to stand up this agency. I have focused completely on that. Let me tell you my future. I'm taking my little grandbabies and grandnieces and nephews to Legoland. That's where I'm headed Well, next. let me ask it a different way. Okay. What would it take for you to jump into the race? A little time off and then you'll go in. Have you set an internal timeline on this? You know, I, I'll put it this way. I do need some time off and I need to go home. i got to get back to Massachusetts, the house we've lived in for 15 years. And that'll be the right time to think about my future. Okay, well, thank you very much for having us. Mark, I'm going to send it back to you. Elizabeth Warren, I just heard someone not definitively ruling out a Senate campaign. We'll let her correct that if she wants to. But thanks, uh, thanks for having us, Mark.